Welcome back to Scouting for History. Uh, Kevin here, and I'm at my next permission. Uh, this next box of chocolates is also from the 1920s. Um, and it's again on the busiest, or not the busiest, but one of the oldest streets in town. Um, so high hopes that we'll find something. I don't think the yard has been disturbed uh, like the last house, but we'll take a look. So I'll bring you out on the first good find. Stay tuned. Well, the first find of the day is a Jefferson Nickel, 1950s, so I think it's 54. So that's a good sign that the first sign, first signal is a coin. Well, right next to that nickel signal, I was getting another signal. <laughs> it's just a pull tap. Uh, oh well, on to the next. Well, at least it's a fun cap, not one of those dull caps. <laughs> well, it's either a old lipstick container or a match container but uh one or the other but we'll clean it up and see what we got i'll try to open it and see too very carefully well fighting tree roots and all kinds of things is a pretty good signal it turns out it's a a really old ford hubcap probably a model t or something like that but uh, it's all bent up but it's old so there's still old stuff here on we go well it might just be a hunk of melted lead I'm not sure but we'll clean it up and see if it's anything special well, it's another, I don't know what, but it is something. <laughs> so, I'll clean it up and you'll see it right here. That is cool. Well, I'm glad it's all in one piece, but it is the, it's the porcelain top and there's the zinc. To an old mason jar so oh i did chip it yikes oh well it's mostly whole <laughs> so we'll clean it up you'll see it right here well that sounded awesome too <laughs> it was really deep uh probably about eight inches deep um but uh yeah not what i expected well somewhere there's an unlatched door <laughs> uh, I dug this interesting little doodad, and I thought it was just a piece of junk, but as I brushed away the dirt, I can see, I can see an eagle design on there. So, well, I'm trying to get it in the sun, but I'll show a picture of it. I'll clean it up and see if I can figure out what it is. That's cool. Well, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it's very heavy. It looks like it's got writing on it. Oh, uh, it might be a lead seal of some kind, but I'll clean it up and see what's that. It's in lots of copper flashing, copper nails. They did the roof recently, I guess. Um, there's a lot of it. You know. Uh, finally something cool, a little coins bill, silver dime, wheat penny, an old Jefferson, and there's more in the home. So stay tuned. And 
look at that it's a silver quarter too all right I was wondering where all the silver was in this yard and here it is cool let me just double check make sure there's nothing else <laughs> but that's a cool spill one of each a quarter dime nickel penny awesome well, a day without silver day without sunshine and we have our sun today cool all right on to the next but i think we're going to call it pretty soon I've, I've gridded this yard pretty good but i missed that somehow so i'll put it a little bit more and we'll wrap it up Well, that's going to wrap it up for this hunt. Uh, very short. It was just the front yard. They didn't want me doing the backyard, which is fine. Uh, whatever, whatever the homeowner's comfortable with is fine with me. Uh, a couple interesting finds. I had a great silver spill. Always love those. <laughs> so, see you on the next hunt. Hey, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. So, all right. See you in the next time. Mm -hmm.